Hey everybody. Hey everybody! Hello everybody! I don't know what I'm doing. Hello everybody! My name is Daniel J. Edwards and this is my channel where I'm going to share a bunch of things and a bunch of stuff and I have a lot of plans just for you that will eventually come. Press the subscribe button because... Anyways, one of my favorite jobs as a voiceover actor was working for the franchise Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! And we all know that Thanksgiving is just beyond, well, today, because tomorrow's Thanksgiving. And I wanted to make something that kind of fusion summoned my favorite job, Yu-Gi-Oh! with uh, Thanksgiving. So, I came up with this simple idea to ask a bunch of my friends from the Yu-Gi-Oh! community this question. What three characters from the Yu-Gi-Oh! series any series, would you bring to Thanksgiving dinner, and why? All of my videos pertaining to Yu-Gi-Oh! or anything else that I do are my creations and my creations only, and they are not associated with Konami Cross Media. Okay, I guess I'm gonna start this thing off. Three Yu-Gi-Oh! characters I'd invite to Thanksgiving dinner, and why? My first pick is Zuzu Boyle from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. She is fun, tough, part of the you show dual school place that everyone's talking about, and honestly, I think she has the perfect archetype for a very entertaining evening next to Dennis McField. I mean, she has melodious monsters and they sing. That is their purpose. It's amazing. I would love to have that at my party. Um, I also come from musical theater, and before this COVID time, during Thanksgiving, a bunch of us singers would get together and eat this big Thanksgiving feast in my closet-sized apartment. And after dinner, we'd circle around the piano and sing musical numbers and until like three in the morning. It, it was annoying for our neighbors, but it was fun for us. So that is the primary reason that Zuzu Boyle is number one. Okay, moving on to my second choice. My second choice is Jim Crocodile Cook from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. And yeah, while he's not an actual cook or not known for that primarily, um, he has a good amount of earth science knowledge and I feel like that is really important for some reason around Thanksgiving. It just feels earthy, you know? Um, and he's got that eye of orichalcum. I mean, it's crazy right now. These are crazy times. And I feel like that magic eye stuff that he can do would definitely help keep our spirits high. You know what I mean? He also has a pet alligator that he wears around on his back. It's amazing. And he has an Australian accent, and that's like my favorite accent of all time. I can't do it very well, but um, I do love it. Um, yeah, no. So now I'm going to head to Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel for my third choice, and I'm going to choose Astral. And I mean, first off, he has his own world. Astral world? I think that's pretty cool. I would like to go there. Maybe if... I became good enough friends he could take me there. I don't know. Anyways, um, I feel like he's always a pleasant character in the Yu-Gi-Oh! series. He's this smart, blue, glowing, nice, relaxing voice kind of uh, alien thingy. Um, he talks a lot about numbers and memory loss, and uh, if that doesn't bring you Thanksgiving memories, then what does? Um, <laughs> I think Astral would be the most technical in helping me pick out like which Thanksgiving dish to eat first for like the maximum enjoyment of my meal, and I think that is highly important as I am a super pig. <laughs> I don't know if Astral eats human food, but even having him around like to raid our holiday attire and serving as a backup light if our power goes out, you know, he would be the perfect generator for light. Um, it seems like a really good option. <laughs> Astral is my third choice. And there you have it, folks. I hope you all stay safe and have a happy Thanksgiving and love to all of you. Um, next! Hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, this is Jake Paik. I'm a voice actor on Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, right now, I am voicing Playmaker and Yusaku in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Um, I want to thank Dan for inviting me to answer this awesome Thanksgiving-themed Yu-Gi-Oh! question. And so, yeah, the question is, Top three people from Yu-Gi-Oh, the Yu-Gi-Oh universe that I would want to have over for Thanksgiving. I'm not going to overthink this. I think for a lot of us, uh, Thanksgiving is typically, you know, um, a family affair. Um, this year is a little, little different, probably. A lot of us might not get to see our families um, due to COVID-19. Um, and so, you know, for any of us that are typically used to having a somewhat dynamic or chaotic family Thanksgiving, I'm going to try and stick with that theme, and I'm going to go for the all-chaos Thanksgiving. I'm going to bring in my friend Ray Shadows um, from Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel 
because uh, he's pretty crazy, and I think he will definitely bring a little bit of a, a nice nefarious vibe and a little bit of trickery to, to, the, to the evening. Uh, I'm also going to invite my buddy Varus from uh, Vrains. You know, he is kind of, in my mind, you know, the, the mastermind, the thinker. You know, you're always trying to figure out what's going on in his mind. Um, I think that he would bring a very unique energy, and I'd be sitting there, like, I'd be having a dialogue with him. It'd be like, I'd be Charles Xavier, and he'd be Magneto. We'd be going back and forth trying to save the world, maybe. Um, and then my third guest, I'm going to go again with full chaos. I'm going to invite I from Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains. Wisecracking, fast-talking, um, never lets you get a word in edgewise. I figure that's the perfect kind of cacophonous Thanksgiving that we're all looking for uh, this year. Um, and a little bit of icing on the cake. The folks that voice those people, uh, Billy Bob Thompson, Dan Edwards, and Mike Licio, can all sing really well. So if I ever need to tap into the, the voice actors of those talent, um, I can have an amazing uh, vocal trio maybe knock something out for me, uh, some holiday tracks. Uh, so yeah, that's my that's my all chaos uh, Thanksgiving Yu-Gi-Oh themed team. Uh, again, Dan, thanks for having me. Hope people are having a good, safe, happy holiday. Hey, True Blue crew, Emily Kramer here. I'm the voice of Sky Zizen slash Blue Angel on Yu-Gi-Oh Brains. So my Turkey Day invite list goes as follows. Well, Akira's already there, obviously, because he's my brother. But I've also got to have my girl Aqua because she's family and Emma, Gore, Yusaku, and Theodore because they're my friends. I definitely have to invite Frog and Pigeon because they make me laugh so much. Maybe Coulter could help with the cooking if he promises not to call everything a sandwich. And lastly, I and Kitamura can do the dishes. That's definitely more than three invites, but hey, it's merrier with more. And I just wanted to extend a really heartfelt thank you to everybody who has watched and supported and loved this show. This was my first ever job in animation, and I cannot begin to tell you how much it has meant to me. I hope everybody out there has a fun and safe holiday season, and until next time, I'll catch you on the flip. Stay blue! Hey, this is Mike Licio, voice of I in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, and also the voice of Yuya, Yuto, Yugo, Yuri, and Zark in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. So if I were to bring three Yu-Gi-Oh! characters to Thanksgiving dinner, number one, I think this comes as no surprise, and I might be biased, but I have to pick I. I mean, he is definitely the most fun. Uh, he might want all the attention for his dad jokes, but he would bring a sense of humor to the table that is just as important as the food being good. So I is my number one. Next, I'd have to say Robopi. You know, I'm going hard for the AIs here, but Robopi would undoubtedly get up for me every time I wanted a second helping of stuffing and mashed potatoes. And he'd do it with great jubilance. So, Robopi, I, I want you at my Thanksgiving. And last but not least, I'm going to have to go with Varus. Everyone has someone at that Thanksgiving table with different views and opinions than them, and who better to bring that drama to a table with two AIs than the Destroy the Cybers man himself? I mean, I'd pay good money to watch those Thanksgiving arguments unfold. Hi, this is Barrett Letty. I play Akira Zizen in Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns, and I was asked by Mr. Daniel J. Edwards to select three characters that I would have over for Thanksgiving dinner. So... I'm going to actually pick three characters from Duel Monsters. The original Duel Monsters, I grew up with it, and for nostalgic purposes, that's where I am making my selection from. So first of all would be Maximilian Pegasus. Now, why would you have a villain over for Thanksgiving? Well, I'll tell you why. Because the man is jolly, he is sophisticated, he'll, he'll make jokes, We'll have a good time. All the evil stuff aside, assuming no one is out there trying to... Assuming these people aren't going to come over my house and wind up swindling me in some way, I'm just assuming we're all here to have a good time. And if that's the case, then Pegasus would be great. Next, I'm going to pick Solomon Moto, uh, Yugi's grandfather. Again, dual monsters. But, you know, he's an older man. He's probably going to have some interesting stories about back in the day. I'm interested in hearing about that. When you first, I could ask him, hey, when you first opened the shop, what was the price of a Yu-Gi-Oh card in your day? You know, and he'd probably say like, oh, you know, you could buy a Yu-Gi-Oh card and for 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 three cents and and still have enough money to take the ferry home. 
or something like that. I don't know. Okay, so for number three, I'm picking my Valentine. And I'm picking my because, again, she's personable, she's charming, you know, you're gonna have a good time when my Valentine is at your Thanksgiving table. Fine. She's gonna get along with others, you know, if, especially if everyone's in, you know, a celebratory festive mood. There's not gonna be any conflict, all right? I, ha I think I approach this differently, maybe, than most people. I just want to have a peaceful Thanksgiving dinner. I don't want conflict. I could have opted for maybe crazier, more, you know, wacky characters, but I went with these characters because, again, I don't want, I don't want a ruckus at my Thanksgiving. I want to have a nice time. Also, I think each of them would bring something, you know? You pick Rex Raptor or someone like that, he's not going to bring something. He's not courteous, he doesn't understand the social etiquette of that, you know? M Pegasus is going to, you know, he's going to bring something nice, you know, uh, my Valentine, they'll all bring something, and, uh, basically what I'm getting at is, I want to have a good time at my Thanksgiving, and I've made my choices, and I think I'm pretty happy with them, thank you, thank you for including me, bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Erika Schroeder here, uh, aka Bella Hudson, aka Dark Magician Girl, one of the voices of My Valentine, and also Akiza Azinski. Who would I invite of the Yu-Gi-Oh crew, the Yu-Gi-Oh family, to Thanksgiving dinner? What an amazing question, and this is so hard to answer. Um, definitely Joey. Joey, Joey, Joey. Joey comes with serenity, so... That's like an easy bonus for me, right? I get my gets Joey, uh, Serenity gets to hang with my. It's all cool. And, you know, I love Wayne Grayson. I love Lisa Ortiz. So that's another bonus right there. And then, of course, of course, I would invite Yugi because um, he's a good cook. You know, I've heard he's a great cook. And also um, Dan Green. Who doesn't love Dan Green? Um, Dan is a very close um, family friend of mine, um, and our kids love spending time together. So I would want him there. And then, last but not least, I would want you say there, okay? Now, I it's sad because, you know, I didn't get to invite Akiza, but I would imagine that she's like, she's outside. She's got her dual disc in one hand. She's got her boom box on her shoulder in the other. And she's going to sing that famous Lisa Loeb song. You say, I only hear what I want to. And you say, I talk so all the time. So... And I thought what I felt was simple, and I thought that I don't belong. And now that I am leaving, now I know that I did something wrong because I missed you. Yeah, I missed you. And yes, it's kind of like that movie Say Anything, but Akiza Izinski is John Cusack. Lastly, I just wanted to say happy Thanksgiving to everyone. I know this is a tough time that everyone's going through and we may not get to see our friends like we normally do, but at least you can spend a little time with your Yu-Gi-Oh family. So, happy Thanksgiving from my family to yours and I get all the stuffing and all the Nestle Toll House pie because, because I make it. I usually make two because... It's so popular. <laughs> Everyone wants my Nestle Toll House pie. It's just that good. What can I say? Anyway, next. Hello, everyone. My name is Dylan from Yu-Gi-Oh! Everything, and I'm excited to be part of this project. So three characters that I would bring to Thanksgiving. My first pick is Joey Wheeler, my boy. Uh, I think that he would just be hilarious to spend a night with. 
uh, especially a, a holiday like Thanksgiving, where there's a lot of food, there's a lot of conversation. Uh, I think that he is going to be like that perfect buffer to kind of the other two characters that I'm picking in terms of when the conversation is getting a little too profound or maybe intense. Him coming with a, a fun, dumb quip that he's famous for would just be hilarious. The second character, which is one that he actually would know, uh, is a Shizu. Uh, that might surprise some people, but I have always found a Shizu to be maybe the most profound Yu-Gi-Oh character there is. And hearing her perspective and Joey's perspective of the Battle City tournament and the events that took place during Battle City would be hilarious. Uh, I would also try and get her to maybe tell me what my future was or what the futures of some of my friends were or maybe even the world. Uh, I think that would be kind of cool. Don't know if she'd use her Millennium Necklace to help me in that regard uh, because it's kind of for a selfish personal gain. Uh, and, you know, maybe knowing my future to its end probably probably would not bode too well. Uh, so yeah, may maybe she wouldn't uh, go crazy on that aspect. But just knowing, just being in the presence of someone that knows or has the ability to know what the future holds, uh, I think would be really, really interesting. And of course, you can talk to her about, uh, you know, ancient Egypt and the tombs and being a tomb keeper and being around Marek, who I think is one of the best villains of the show. Uh, I think it would be really, really cool. And then, of course, when she's getting way too profound about certain aspects, you have Joey come in with a with a really dumb, stupid line that would just get everyone laughing. So I think the dynamic between uh, those two would be hilarious. And the third one that I uh, am picking, and no, it's not because Daniel voices him, uh, is Varys, is Revolver. Uh, I have always thought that Varys and I have very similar ideologies when it comes to the internet and social media. Uh, I am someone who has, for many years, believed that social media is more of a detriment to society and a detriment to most individuals than a, a benefit. Uh, and I think that social media does a lot more harm than good to one's mental health and it leads to more cyberbullying and, and feelings of isolation. And I think Varys is someone that completely agrees with me on a lot of those things. Uh, now, he takes it to an extreme that I would never condone or act on, uh, <laughs> but uh, just having him there at the table, uh, along with Shizu being there as well, I think the conversations between the three of us would be really, really interesting. And then, of course, with Joey there to make a stupid Brooklyn line, uh, it, it would just be incredible. So the three people that I would pick, I'd pick Joey, I'd pick Shizu, and I'd pick Varys. I think the conversations, when they get deep, would be amazing, and I think there would be a lot of hilarious moments looking back on the event because of, of just who Joey is. So those are the three that I'm picking. Yo, what's up, guys? This is Matt Shipman, the voice of Shea Obsidian in Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5, and I'm here to tell you what three Yu-Gi-Oh! characters I would invite to Thanksgiving and why. <laughs> Uh, well, so first off, I'm going to just go ahead and say, uh, obviously, Shay, um, primarily because he could always use some love um, at any point, any point in the show's continuity. He could he could sure use some love. Uh, so bring the guy over for Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, he's also very familiar with birds. So we might get some uh, Raid Raptor Thanksgiving turkey ideas out of this uh, dinner experience. Maybe he'd be good at cooking it. I don't know. I'm I'm not so Hopefully he who had to, uh, I don't know, survive in the the resistance would know how to cook. I don't know if he'd know how to cook a Thanksgiving turkey properly, though. But all right. Uh, him, though, because I play him. And how am I not going to pick him? Come on. Um, <laughs> and then my second pick is the one, the only, the Joey Wheeler. Uh, <laughs> having grown up in New York and not uh, not living there anymore. I'm now I'm in, I'm in good old Texas. Um, the accent, I feel like, would really make me feel at home. <laughs> Not that my family all had that or anything, but, like, just something about that. I don't know. I'm, I'm imagining him screaming in the other room, like, in a fight with someone, and I'm like, yeah, it sounds like home. That sounds good. Uh... <laughs> Uh, and you got to have someone fun to balance out the atmosphere. You know, with Shay there, he's kind of, he's more serious. He's snarky, but he's serious. Joey's just a fun loving guy. So you want to have at least one person like that. And if, if this Thanksgiving is theoretically me and my three choices, uh, Joey would be a very important person to have there for, for that balance. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and also, uh, with his luck, I don't think anyone who's making the food would overcook anything or screw anything up because Joey's there and Joey always rolls a... Not always. Joey often rolls <laughs> very good in his luck-based deck uh, strategies and such. So, you know, maybe that'll rub off on whoever's making the food. It's not me. 
Hopefully Shay again. <laughs> and then my third and final choice, I thought really hard about this, Jack Atlas. I was thinking, I feel like the reason I want to pick Jack Atlas over like Kaiba is because Jack Atlas is like a little more fun than Kaiba. Like Kaiba's like very, I'm better than you. And Jack is a little like at least halfway through 5Ds or whatever. He like starts lightening up. He's he's much more of like a kind of a kind of kind of dumb, I guess I'll just say. Like he he'll do he'll do something stupid and then everyone laughs at him. He'll be like, what are you why are you laughing? I'm not I didn't do anything funny. What's wrong with you? And so like that mix of like theatrical seriousness and then I don't know, comedy <laughs> that we would get out of the situation, I feel like would be another good balance. He's kind of a mix between what like Shay would probably bring and what Joey would bring. He would just think he is incredibly serious and and probably the more the, the most important person in the room, depending on when in the 5D's continuity we're, we're talking. Uh, and similarly to Shay, he could probably use the company too. Joey's got friends. Shay and Jack have friends? Jack has friends more than Shay, maybe? I don't know. It's all debatable, but they're very... Those two are tragic people, so they could use the hug. Uh, I hope you guys have a really good Thanksgiving. I don't know what I'm going to do quarantine, but me and my wife are going to eat really good food and hang out and hopefully not work that day. I've been working a lot lately. Love you guys. Uh, take care. Bye. Okay. So, the three characters that I would invite over for Thanksgiving... Uh, number one, I gotta go with Joey Wheeler. Uh, he was my favorite character uh, growing up when I was watching the show. Um, he's got so much passion, so much heart, and I think he would just be really fun to have over for Thanksgiving. Um, number two, I gotta go with I from Brains um, because he's just silly and dopey, and I think, again, it'd just be fun to have him over. Uh, the bickering and the banter would be pretty fun. Uh, and then number three, I gotta go with my man, Reed Pepper, because someone's gotta cook on Thanksgiving, and it ain't gonna be me. If I could invite any Yu-Gi-Oh! character over for Thanksgiving, it wouldn't be a person, but a card. Namely, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Or as Joey from Season 1 would say, the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Anyway, just three of those. Why? Because there's no better way to enforce social distancing than having a big dragon in your house. Ain't nobody gonna come over. Anyway, stay safe, everyone. Happy Thanksgiving! Hey, uh, this is Sam Black. I'm talking about which three Yu-Gi-Oh! characters from any franchise I would invite to Thanksgiving. Um, this is... For me, I think a question that is entirely about food. I I have absolutely no reason to invite anyone from the Yu-Gi-Oh! universe to my house except for them bringing delicious food. So I think, uh, well, I mean, number one, I feel like obligatory. You got to go Cal Coulter, uh, also known in the Japanese as uh, Shoichi Kusanagi from Yu-Gi-Oh! Reigns. Uh, not only is he an amazing character who I voice amazingly, but uh, he, you know, he runs a food business. He, he knows what tastes good. And yes, maybe he just makes hot dogs, but I feel like, you know, anyone with a, a commanding presence on the grill is, uh, is welcome at my Thanksgiving. Um, number two, uh, I want to say Gong Strong from Yu-Gi-Oh! Arc 5. I think, uh, I think Gong, I just, I just feel like he's got good taste. I feel like he knows, he knows, like, a good barbecue joint to hit up, and, uh, I think he's gonna bring some, some yams with, uh, charred marshmallows on the top. You know, you stick the marshmallows on, hit it, hit it in the broiler for a couple minutes. Man, that is good. Um, and, uh, number three, uh, another man who I think has a very, uh, very good palate for Thanksgiving. I'm going to go, go ahead and say, uh, uh, Yugi's grandpa, Grandpa Muto is, uh, for sure my third guest. Again, food reasons. It's, I'm, I've got a very one track mind about Thanksgiving and it's all about the food. And, uh, you know, he's, he's, uh, he's a master of games. He's been around the block and I feel like he... 
He knows a thing or two about Thanksgiving. He could teach me a trick. He'd be like, hey, drizzle balsamic on the stuffing before it goes in the oven or something. I don't know. He'd, he'd have tips for me. So uh, Grandpa Muto is number three. Um, and uh, and on a uh, more earnest note, I am very thankful myself for, uh, you know, for Yu-Gi-Oh! the franchise and for Konami and giving me the opportunity to be a part of it. And uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful for that, and I'm thankful for the fans. And uh, those are my, those are my Yu-Gi-Oh Thanksgiving invites. Hey, this is Danny Kramer, voice of the Shepherd. Thank you, Daniel, for inviting me to do this. Let's see, which three characters would I invite to a Thanksgiving dinner? I've been a fan of Yu-Gi-Oh since the very first episode premiered on Kids WB way back in 2001. As tempting as it is to invite like Yugi and Joey, I feel like I'd connect more with the 5Ds crew. So my first guest would be Yusei because he is my spirit animal. And then I would pick his buddy Crow because Crow's hilarious and we need somebody that'll make jokes. And then for my third pick, you might be thinking I'd go with the master of faster, but I would actually pick Akiza. Why? Well, because Jack's great and all, but I don't think I need his big boisterous attitude in my living room. You say Crow and Akiza, they're all really chill, polite. I mean, like, after they go through their various character arcs, particularly Akiza. So I'm talking like part two of 5Ds when everybody's pretty happy and all that. So I would definitely pick the three of them. They'd arrive on their dual runners. You gotta admire the dual runners. You gotta respect the equipment. You'd probably have appetizers all day, play Super Smash Brothers. And playing Mario Kart 8 is basically a given. And, like, everybody would choose the motorcycle. I'd probably insist that Yusei has to duel me in Legacy of the Duelist. And, of course, I'd win, because... No, I wouldn't. Then, watch a Godzilla movie as is tradition every year at Thanksgiving in my house. And then we'd all sit down for dinner and it'd be great. And if we ran out of turkey, it's fine. We just have Aki use her psychic powers to make one of Crow's birds real, throw it in the oven, and there you go. Crow wouldn't mind. He's got, like, of those things. I mean, yeah, a crow might be a little mentally and emotionally scarred for life, but three out of four of us would be happy, and that's what matters, right? So yeah, those would be my picks, and that's how it'd go down. Hey everybody, this is Mark Shenfish. I voice Lightning in Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrains, which may be coloring my uh, particular choices today. Uh, first of all, you know, you all know Thanksgiving is a time for family, right? A time for so getting together with family and celebrating and safely this year in particular. But uh, I, I, my first person that I would like to invite is um, season two ghost gal. Um, you know, since she doesn't really have any family to go to, she lives far away from her mom, uh, I assume, you know, doesn't really have anywhere to go. So, so she could come over to, to my house for some food and for some sympathy and for some uh, slight evil maniacal laughter on occasion. The next person that I would like to invite is Frog. I have several fun memories of Thanksgiving with my uncle. Um, and Frog does, doesn't sound like my uncle at all. doesn't look like my uncle at all. Obviously, my uncle is not a um, giant virtual anthropomorphic talking frog. But I, I don't know. There, there were several times in the booth recording for Vrains where... Um, I would have a frog line immediately before my line, and I had to try really hard to keep it together and not not crack up. Um, really love the, I think that's Mark Thompson that does that voice. Thank you, Mark, for, for gifting Frog to the world. I would just love to have him around the table, you know, just cracking jokes, reminding everybody that if you have crystal goblets, you can dip your fingers in water and rub them around the rim of the glass to to make noise. Like, that's that's the role of my uncle so i would i would like frog to uh as it were play the role of my uncle this year for thanksgiving because obviously i won't be seeing my uncle this year um finally thanksgiving is a time for naps you got all that tryptophan from that turkey from uh tomato soup if you happen to be eating tomato soup on thanksgiving what else has tryptophan i just did a quick google so firm tofu soybeans pumpkin and squash seeds, you know, all these traditional Thanksgiving uh, foods that you just eat and, and then get very sleepy after. So I would like to invite as my third Yu-Gi-Oh! guest a cuddle buddy for my naps. So Karibo, I will be providing you my address and my telephone number so you can get in contact with me 
Um, everybody who's who's coming to spend Thanksgiving with me, which is like two people, maybe this year, uh, I'll have a multiply card ready, and and we can all just have a nice uh, cuddle puddle after our meal. Hi, I'm Lindsay Sutton, and I voice Aqua on Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. So for my Thanksgiving dinner, I'll stick within the world of Yu-Gi-Oh! Brains. Uh, my first choice would be Yusaku. Um, frankly, I would invite him because I have a crush on him. Who doesn't love a man in a suit with a little pink-purple streak in his hair? Um, I think that it would be fun to sit down and get to talk to him and get to know a little bit more about him, like his adoption story and, and where he's from and kind of why he is the way that he is. And then my second and third choice would be... Um, Aqua and Earth, and I would invite them as a couple because I want to give them a chance. I think they'd be so cute together. Um, they both are so honest, and Earth, bless his heart, is so awkward. But I think that just in a small setting, they could get to know each other. And then also, they're uh, Ignis, so they wouldn't eat all the turkey. More for me. Hello, friends and fellow duelists. It is I, Wolf Scott, uh, the voice of Kitamura in the upcoming Yu-Gi-Oh! Vrain series. And it is time to now do, 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 do whatever Dan says, uh, because Dan very kindly invited me into this fun project, uh, and I am very excited to be here to help him out with it, a longtime friend and, of course, fellow talented human. So if you could invite three Yu-Gi-Oh! characters to a Thanksgiving dinner, uh, who would they be and why? Uh, so number one, I feel like I would be doing myself and everyone a disservice uh, to not invite Kitamura. Not just because, you know, of his charming personality and his just larger-than-life antics, which we all love. Uh, but I'm sure Kitamura would be a good time. Uh, he would yell at everyone. He would make sure to do no work himself while criticizing everyone else, uh, rushing things so that everything probably, like, tastes bad but it was on his timetable, so he's cool with it. And he probably brought robots or programs. Maybe he programs the appliances to do his bidding, probably poorly knowing Kitamura, but he'd be number one. A uh, number two would be Joey Wheeler. And once again, this is purely just voice. I just, hey, Yugs, it's just so good. I don't care what he would talk about. He could talk about anything he wanted, and I would 100% be there for it. Plus, he's got that beautiful, luscious hair. And speaking of beautiful, luscious hair and great voices, uh, I think we got to round out the picks uh, with, like, light villainy to, like, good guy to, like, major villainy. And we got to go Maximilian Pegasus. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Hughie boy. I mean... Classic stuff, a sharp dresser, going to show up to the function, dressed to the nines. Uh, once again, I just purely want to hear these three, you know, for lack of a better word, humans interact with one another. I want to hear them talk to each other. I just want to hear the voices layer on top of each other in such a, I would imagine a maddening way after an entire dinner, but for at least for a little while, it would be a lot of fun. And uh, I should be getting a kick out of it. So uh, those are my three picks. I hope everyone, well, I don't know. I don't care if you agree. It's my pick. It's my dinner. Dan, thank you so much for inviting me to this. And I can't wait to watch Vrains uh, and hear everyone's incredible talents on display. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Happy Holidays. Hope everyone stays well and safe in these times and that you're healthy and your families are healthy. Uh, much love, and I'll talk to everyone soon. Wolf out. Hey, everybody. Thanks again for watching my video. That's all I got for you today. If you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see something more like this or maybe more of my material in some other fashion, please hit the like button down below and the subscribe button and the money button and all the buttons that are the buttons. And I hope to see you again on my next segment. But until then... Bye-bye! Can we cut? Can we? I'm here to vibe and there's a place for the duelist deep inside. And so, for show, it's time for an adventure, let's go.